may contain strong language and strong hits. Wakefield, a small city in northern England. Great transport links due to the River Calder. High rise flats around a quiet city centre. There's plenty of culture, art, and music in Wakefield. It also has an interesting reputation for nightlife. Kirsty and Steph founded the Wakey Wheelcats Roller Derby League in April of 2009. The league started off as six friends who learnt to skate. The name was a play on the local rugby team, Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. The team grew to include many members. The league continued to grow to include the second team, the Trinity Rollers. Our first home was the small hospital hall, where we learnt to skate and grasp the rules. Our first game was 18 months after our inception. We soon outgrew our hall and moved to Lightwave Sports Centre. Over times reduced our members, but a resurgence in roller skating increased our membership. Our recruitment intake is twice a year, where we take on new members, our kittens, and train them to skate and skate safely, and teach them again. Roller Dad is a contact sport played on quad roller skates where two teams try and score the most points. The jammer, wearing the star on their helmet, gains these points while their teammates help them and stop the other jammer simultaneously. There are many rules and tactics. Wakey Wheelcat statistics vary, with a high score in 2017 resulting in a meme. Played in the UK on a flat track, two teams of skaters travel anti clockwise within bounds using offence and defence moves to gain the most points. There are legal zones of the body that skaters can hit and be hit with. Penalties are issued for wrongful moves, earning the skater time off track. Safety first. Skaters must wear protective gear and should pass minimum skating requirements before they are on track. Injuries are not uncommon, from broken bones, ripped ligaments and the nine month injury taking many out of play. Teams field up to 14 skaters, five skaters are on track during each jam. One jammer and four blockers. Points are scored by passing an opponent's hips. The blockers make up the pack. Pivots are one of the blockers who can become a jammer during a jam if the jammer passes them their helmet cover. These skaters create walls and prevent the opposing jammer from gaining points. Non-skating officials allow games to happen, keeping scores and tracking penalties. Referees call the shots, with many referees per game. The pack must remain within 20 feet of each other. The first jammer legally out of the pack, the lead jammer, can tactically call off the jam. A jam can last 2 minutes and each half lasts 30 minutes. This fast paced sport originated in Texas in 1935.
The lead jammer can call off the jam by tapping their hips, stopping the other jammer gaining points. Jammers can hit each other anywhere on track. Bridging allows the blockers to stretch by 20 feet from the front or back of the pack. A blocker can push their teammate into opposing players and force a cut track. A star pass from the jammer to the pivot means the pivot becomes the jammer for that jam by receiving the jammer helmet cover. A star pass can be faked as a distraction, as long as the jammer keeps hold of the helmet cover. Jammers are not free of the front of the pack until they are over 20 feet away. By bridging and chasing a jammer, they can be absorbed back into the pack. The pack must always be moving anti-clockwise to continue gameplay. There are many penalties. These include hits with the wrong body parts to the wrong body parts, between your position by cutting players off track, swearing on track, being out of play. Two blockers on the jammer can be sat in the penalty box for up to 30 seconds each. Points are awarded from these blockers as soon as one opposing blocker is passed on track. Everyone is friends after a game now. Here is a game in 2011, followed by a game in 2018. Tactics evolved with the sport. It became less about skating fast in a line to creating slow moving walls with depth. Roller Derby is a grassroots sport, run by the leagues for the leagues. Yes, 
Committees are voted in and run everything from coaching new skaters, financing and arranging game events, creating programmes and posters, recruitment events, fundraising events, designing merchandise to holding events for charity in the community. Groups ensure diversity and advocates are on hand. The chair oversees the league and communication. Everyone plays their part in the running of the team. Fundraisers have a chance to raise awareness of the league, raise funds and recruit more skaters. Many bands and venues have supported us over the years. It's almost always an excuse for some crazy theme and fancy dress opportunities. We have a reputation as being a fun league. Wakey Wheelcats have been in the sports papers multiple times over the years with both losses and wins. We have also featured on TV and radio. The crowd love the kids, so here is a collection of our finest, given and received over the years. Cause 
Wilcats, knock 'em! <laughs> 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 